Right, and we begin here with an update after a local motel was told it's no longer allowed to operate. We first told you about the roadway in and Grand Chute getting its license revoked a couple of weeks ago. We now have new information about that license revocation, which was put out by the Outagamie County Health Department. Your Appleton neighborhood reporter Olivia Acre has the update. Outagamie Public Health revoked this roadway in's license on April 14th. Now the owner is trying to appeal the revocation. The county's Health and Human Services Committee held a hearing on May 22nd and now have until June 11th to decide whether or not to uphold the revocation. When we reached out to Outagamie Public Health, they told us they cannot issue a statement until the committee's decision is released. The initial decision to revoke the roadway in license comes after the Outagamie Public Health Department carried out 18 inspections from June 15th of 2022 to April 14th of 2023. According to the lodging inspection reports, every reinspection costs $103. We know through public property records that Aurora Investments LLC, the owner of the roadway in, owes the town of Grand Chute nearly $94,000. We spoke to Grand Chute's Community Development Director, Mike Potza, over the phone. There was approximately 24 hotels, motels that came up of the 24. The roadway looks to be about 15 highest as far as valuation. So they have the 15th highest tax bill in Grand Chute. At the May 22nd hearing, the Health and Human Services Committee saw 102 pages of evidence as to why they should uphold the license revocation. This includes complaints from the Grand Chute Police Department, guests, and uncorrected inspection violations like bed bugs, rats, and mold. Here's what the Grand Chute Police Department told us earlier this month. It clearly negatively impacts the health and safety of our residents, guests, and even the other hotel goers. We reached out to the business owner and the office of his lawyer, but have not heard back at this time. We also requested the audio recording for the May 22nd hearing, but have not received it yet. The committee is still deciding whether or not to uphold the revocation, but the roadway in still shouldn't be operating because their license was revoked by the town of Grand Chute. Reporting in Grand Chute, Olivia Acre, NBC 26.